Oris! What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, baby? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a tourist between the 1st and the 15th of September? Are y'all being nice? Look, look here. Check this out. I tried to come and do y'all energy yesterday. Y'all was supposed to go with a Virgo, okay? However, I don't know. I stopped my tourist friend. Shout out to you, okay? Because I, I, you watch my channel, bro. Um, t From beating somebody up at the store, y'all energy has been zero tolerance for the bullshit. That's what I feel off the rip. Like, I feel like... Be careful with me. That's what I'm feeling like for Taurus. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with Taurus. But y'all better not be going to jail, though. Stay y'all ass out the back of the police car. I think I told y'all that before. If I didn't, look here. Taurus, find your chi, okay? I'm going to have to tell y'all like I told Scorpio. Breathe in. Before you go off on people, hold it. Hold it. Take those 15 seconds and say, fuck that shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. If it's not going to make you no money, if it's not going to stabilize your home, if it's not going to save your relationships, if it's not going to build your families, if it's not going to restore you, if it's not healing to you, if it's not going to assist you in growing, if these motherfuckers can't come on your journey, What did you lose? Nothing. Let's get it popping. All right. So this will be from the 1st to the 15th of September for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of bull. Game. Y'all know that's Taurus. Act like you know. Okay. So <laughs> this is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. Also, from the 30th, from, from. As of September the 1st, I'm extending it because I have to do Libra, I believe, on the 31st. All right. I'm extending it a little bit. But as of the today, tomorrow, the 1st, I'm going to go push it to the 1st until 12 a.m. After that, it ends. OK, I have a ten dollar one question, one answer. OK, reading. All right, it could be over the phone. If you don't have time to talk, I can also send you a video. I really don't like to get email questions. I'm very personal as far as my personal readings. It gets real personal. I want to talk. Let's build this bond. Let's build this rapport. Let me in. I want to help you heal. Let's grow. We family. Ego for what? You know what I'm saying? So that that's who I am. All right. I don't want no. I, I we get to the process. You email me. I send you everything. How to pay everything in one email. You pay. I get back to you with the confirmation that I received it. I give you my phone number. We we, we you text me. We then re, uh, schedule a time between today and tomorrow. I try to get them done the same day. All right. So that's what's going on. It ends September the first. So if you need a ten minute ten ten minute ten dollar reading. Get it in because after September the 1st, y'all, it dies forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Thank you so much, y'all, to my new subscribers, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Welcome to the family. To my old subscribers, y'all, y'all, we is evolving. We getting it popping over here, okay? Y'all, I thank you so much for helping me grow. We hit 5K yesterday. I'm not going to cry because it was already emotional enough for me because here I am sharing all of my life with you guys and I couldn't do this if I didn't live this. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we don't judge here. Welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We don't judge. We don't do that here. Leave that negative shit on other people's channel because I'm an Aries and I turn up. I'm not with it. All right. So the, we we going to leave that. I like. I just want to thank y'all, y'all. <laughs> I really want to thank y'all. I'm. I humbly appreciate it to all of my personal readings, to the donations that I've start just recently start receiving in the last month. The door is opening up, y'all. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Y'all are truly my family. This is our journey, and I just I can't thank y'all enough because I didn't even. My my friend was just like, you know, you got five. I was like, what? <laughs> so thank you so much. All right, so we rocking. Done crying and shit. Okay. All right, so for Taurus, the first message comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards for Doreen Virtue. What jumped out, okay, in my lap was Titanium Rainbow Quartz. Multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation of person that you're asking about. Let me show you the card. Right? So we rocking. It says... 
The person or situation that you're asking about is multifaceted, like a gemstone. That means that there are many different sides to consider. There isn't one plain truth here, but several, which could create, com I'm sorry, which, which, hold on, baby, I need some more glasses. Which could create contradictions, inconsistencies, and confusion. You need to be honest with yourself about whether these differences are acceptable or upsetting to you. If you're asking about a certain person, this card is a sign of complicated and unpredictable relationships. Some may consider this exciting, while others find it to, to, to contain too much drama. I'm sorry, y'all. These angel males just be funny sometimes. But it's true. Most people have layers to them. And as long as the other person is behaving ethically and, and with integrity, you may benefit from this relationship. Again, it's a matter of being honest about your likes and dislikes. If your question is about a specific situation, this card is a sign that there is no single right answer. Sometimes this is because free will choices are currently shaping the outcome and nothing has been predetermined. In some cases, this card means that it's up for interpretation whether or not this is a positive situation according to individual tastes and preferences. All in all, being comfortable with ambiguity and an undetermined future is an opportunity for you to be the director of your own unfolding movie masterpiece. You were made in the image and likeness of the of the creator. So you can create a, work, a wonderful present and future. I told you before, Taurus, you fix. A lot of y'all don't like change. You don't really like change too much, okay? When things change, it kind of puts you out your element because Taurus likes to be able to control and stabilize things. So during this time, between the 1st and 15th of September, some things that are out of your control, if you can't control it, why worry about it? And if you're going to worry, what you praying for, okay? A lot of y'all need to connect the spirit during this time. You're going to be, your intuition is going to be very, very, very heightened, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who could be older than you, or this could be definitely a woman, okay? But this person could be a spiritual teacher, or this person could be some type of spiritual counselor, but they're highly, highly, highly intuitive, and while someone thinks that they're getting away with something, this person is literally like seven steps ahead of you. So it's time for you to be honest, take the mask off, and deal with your response responsibilities and your issues okay uh versus sweeping them under the rug because i feel like things are kind of coming to terms as far as mentally spiritually emotionally emotionally a lot of y'all are aligning right now a lot of you guys are definitely healing all right healing from past traumas a lot of y'all are healing from some type of father issue or some issue with some older man okay but some of y'all could also be a son all right you want to heal a relationship with your son during this time um your son could be a son could be um an air sign gemini libra queries but you're wanting to heal things uh you wanting to during this time y'all y'all third eye is gonna be dripping sauce so, okay your third eye do not allow it do not do not fear it. The veil is being lifted. So some of the things that you begin to see in your dreams, a lot of y'all may be having a lot of lucid dreams during this time. The lucidity of your dreams may be unreal to the point where you're scared to go to sleep. Go to bed. Definitely be connected with spirit. A lot of y'all going to be more connected with spirit during this time than you have ever been before in your life. Okay. Some of you are kind of being reflective and looking over some of the things that's going on in your past during this time. You're going to move forward. And make your choices based on the wisdom of the things in your past. You're going to take your past and turn your pain into power. Okay. I am seeing during this time, some of you, some of you needing to balance yourselves. Okay. In order to balance the things around you, because I feel like what you're going through this awakening, what you're going through this, uh, this spiritual shift, this ascension. Okay. I feel like it's kind of affecting your decision as far as you being stagnant and making the choices, the necessary choices that you need in order, in order to continue going forward on your path okay for some of y'all you having to watch the people who are around you as far as work family members because everybody who sit up and say oh girl er, girl you all good i'm proud of you and this 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 but they don't support shit that you do okay and say it's time for them to need something watch them people when you tell a person your accomplishments and you tell them you excited oh i got my new business running oh we having a baby oh i'm getting my family back together oh and they hit you with a oh that's what's up Watch they ass, okay? Watch them because they there, but that don't mean they happy for you and want to see you grow. That's going to be with anybody, but watch who you telling your business to during this time because for some of y'all, you got some little hisses, the gossipers that can't wait to go around and slither and tell your business to Tom, Dick, and Sario, uh, Tom, Dick, Harry, and Sarah, okay? So watch them, all right? Also, 
some of y'all are trying to balance yourself. You some of y'all needing to get active during this time I'm seeing. Some of y'all have been going through the emotion going through motions, moving forward, okay, having to make decisions to let go of people who brought sorrow into your life. Okay. Really being true to you during this time is very essential, Taurus. If you unhappy, what you stand for? If you unhappy, what you that that goes with a relationship, a job, a friendship. If you unhappy, these people can't help you grow. These people can't help you ascend. What are you staying for? Why? Why? I'm dead ass because I don't want to hear. Oh well, Mocha, it's because we have a family. This, this, this. Okay, if that man or that woman got an opportunity and they got to go overseas and your ass can't go. Are you really going to be able to cope by yourself? Or are, this, are you going to become so codependent on holding the damn phone? What you doing? How you doing it? This, this, this. So don't tell me that because trust me, some some of these people that y'all dealing with, I'm seeing, they're not, put, they not work. They being authentic to their damn self. They living their best life while some of y'all is chasing after their ass. And for what? It's like a continuous cycle that I'm seeing. And for some of y'all, you're going to break that shit. You're walking in another door in another direction. Blind faith. Is literally going to be the key to this month for you, okay? But first off, you need to be real with your damn self. Let me pull this back so you can see because the lighting is in here is interesting. You need to be real with your damn self. A lot of y'all who don't want to see a certain situation for what it is, take that damn mask off, okay? Take it off. Take the blindfold. Take the blindfold off. And whether you want to or not, what you healing and going through this during this time, your intuition is going to be crazy. Crazy. Some of y'all dreams are going to be off the chain, okay? Some of y'all are going to have premonitions. Some of y'all are learning that you can astro travel, okay, during your dreams. So I am seeing with this, a lot of y'all are going to be healing. A lot of y'all are needing this solitude. You do not want to be by yourself. But everybody that I have in these damn cards, he's alone. The sage is alone. Wisdom, okay? Use your intuition because you have been there, done that. You're going to see certain things for what they are that you didn't want to see beforehand, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a cancer that is uh, that is a sage, that actually is on the money with intuition, okay? But some of y'all, it's a Pisces as well. But, yeah, take this damn mask off. See the situation for what it is. How does it build you? Ground yourself. You, you notice the difference these people by themselves. Some of y'all have a fear of being by yourself. Some of y'all have a feel, feel like you need somebody. In order to be happy, but happiness truly starts with you internally. If you can't make your damn self happy, how are you going to bring that and restore that? How are you going to restore that in somebody's life? That's your natural ability. Taurus can bring the beauty to anything, okay? you Just like Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, well, y'all bring the beauty to every damn thing because as above, so below. So the things that, the, the things, the riches that we try to manifest here within the 3D, the love that we try to manifest here, okay? The spiritual ascension that we try to manifest here, you guys spiritually it's literally embedded within you and your dna but you first have to learn how to love yourself know thyself hone your own abilities don't fear them and don't feel like you need not a soul to move forward okay and i ain't trying to fuss but i, I this is strongly and i feel like spirit is literally screaming at y'all in aggression but instead of listening y'all drinking drinking too damn much instead of listening you working you getting money you ain't worried about it but you can't die with it. So what you did? What seeds have you what seeds have you planted? A lot of y'all life purpose is screaming at you. You don't want to hear it. And a lot of it requires you to be alone and heal and hone the abilities that you have, as well as get to know thyself. And to be honest with you, this ego that's being put forward is really just you being afraid. But be real with yourself. See that. Acknowledge it so that you can heal from it. You know? Let's get it. So during this time, I do see some of y'all are going to be uh, nurturing a family situation, possibly a situation with someone that you have kids with, a water sign or an earth sign, okay? This person, that could have been some deception in the past. Some of y'all could have had someone cheat, up, cheat on you um, and possibly make a baby with an earth sign. And you just like, you know what? I'm over it. I, I love this person. I put in my work, you know, and I just want to be with this person. But I feel like you're going through a lot of shit with this other person on the, that's now in your life externally to you that's going to be going on because I feel like this person is stalking. This person know all your business because somebody opened the door to allow that to happen. So you're trying to nurture a relationship. But to be honest, baby, you need to be nurturing yourself your children okay you're gonna nurture your relationship do it with respect to you with respect to and for yourself okay don't be chasing nobody who ain't worth being kept 
Also, during this time, some of y'all got a water sign stalking y'all, okay? This person is definitely a soulmate to you. This person wants abundance with you, okay? They, <sighs> y'all ain't gonna lie, they stalking like shit. That energy is thick. <laughs> Spirit, please uh, show me the messages for the 1st to the 15th of uh, September for my sign. Of course. Ooh, you see that? I told y'all, y'all sign, y'all cards is jumping. Some of you, some of you have a Capricorn, okay? This Capricorn wants to make an offer to you. I feel like this person, the offer that they coming for with is money during this time. They trying to bring you in with money because you're Taurus, okay? You, you like, you like your money, all right? However, I feel like a lot of you wants, a lot of you want to close that chapter and end that cycle and start something new with possibly an Aries or a, uh, or a Virgo. I'm also seeing a Cancer here. Some of y'all just really want to move forward and focus on your money and focus on your damn self. You just like, no Capricorn, I don't want you. No Virgo, I don't want you. No other Taurus, I don't want you because I've I seem to lost sight on my like, lose sight. I seem to have lost sight on my stability. So I need to go focus on that. A lot of y'all are needing to take a leap forward, okay? Possibly again with this damn food coil with an Aries. A lot of y'all wanting to go into a new cycle. You wanted to offer a person love. Some of you guys are going to be receiving an offer possibly from a Pisces or a Sagittarius or you will be giving it. But I feel like in the past there's been conflict with this person and I feel like you just tired of the bullshit. You don't want it. Definitely Sagittarius vibes, okay? You don't want it. For some of y'all you want to turn around a home situation but there's in, there's now indecision because I feel like with some of y'all you have a decision to make between two people. You want to move forward from whomever you this fire sign that you were dealing with in the past for some of y'all uh it's a leo as well you want to move forward you want to cease the fighting you don't want to fight anymore however this person continues they little obsessive ass talking okay and now i'm just taking the signs off of it some of y'all could be receiving an offer from a leap with someone who you're married to have a family dynamic with you may have been separated from this person but now this person is wanting to move forward they want to take a leap of faith they want to bring back the love and restore the passion in the relationship some of you guys have a water sign that you have a family with some of y'all feel like this person could have betrayed you in the past. Ultimately, I feel like this person could have actually dealt with someone that was really close to you. And you feel like, you know, do I? my heart wants to start over with this person, but my head is giving me conflict. And I feel like it has to do with shedding old skins and belief in a whole lot of communication. Because what I'm noticing is that it's not a whole lot of swords up in here. And the swords that are up in here are stalking, indecision heartbreak and deception okay i feel like some of you know that a taurus another taurus or a virgo capricorn is your soulmate okay but there's no equal give and take so even though you have moved forward from this person you still watching what the hell they doing okay because you feel like you want to be able to get to the situation but at the same time this person in the past showed you that they're not going to be given okay you're giving this they're not going to be given what it is that you're giving for some of y'all you want to make a soulmate relationship work because for some of y'all you miss their children i'm up. You could have separated with someone you didn't have children with. Yeah, some of y'all are sticking around with the Capricorn for finances, okay? And I feel like this person, you got whoever I'm talking to with this, you got to be true to yourself. I feel like one foot is out the door with this person and one is there. It's only there because of the finances, but now your heart chakra is starting to open and open up now that you're healing and kind of coming to terms with things and you're really feeling like, do I really love this person? You know, because I can really focus on my money myself, go get it myself, and I ain't got to deal with this shit. Some of y'all have a new job opportunity coming about, but I feel like you, you, you're you fighting yourself on staying stagnant and where you at, where you been at, but change is good. Quit fear and change, okay? Little fix, babies. Some of y'all are moving forward and focusing on, um, you're wanting to reunite possibly with a water sign or an earth sign. However, well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Towards Virgo Capricorn. You wanted to reunite with this person. For some of y'all, you wanted to reunite with a Sagittarius. Maybe this person, you could see yourself being stable with this person. However, the relationship stays stagnant. And so now you want to give your cup elsewhere. So you just like, you know, what am I going to do? Some of y'all got to, some of y'all have a choice between the Sagittarius and the Pisces. Uh, some of y'all, it's the Pisces and the Aries. Some of y'all, it's the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Earth sign. Okay. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, I see a petty war in here too. Just be, this person is offering you little, so you giving their ass back little. That that the petty gotta stop. 
because the petty does not, petty don't go on a journey of evolution, all right? You got to choose to be the foe, to be the bigger person. As soon as I said that, damn, the whole damn dick fell out my hands. Message somebody. Some of y'all want to renew the love with a Pisces. Some of y'all going to find out that a Pisces, um, if you're a man, you're going to find out that a Pisces could be pregnant with another child. Um... Because I feel like I see children here, so I feel like this person already would have children, and you may have children with this person, or they may have children with someone else, uh, but there could be another child coming. Um, congratulations, smoke a little kids, you understand? Also, some of y'all want to move forward, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, strong emphasis on the Aries, but there's a slight, there's a sense of indecision, like, you need to make a choice, you feel like, Somebody is loving on the Pisces and you you may feel like another person have another option. And it's really heartbreaking to you, even though you were sitting in the in, in, the, in uh, energy of indecision. You needed to make a choice in order for things to move forward. But y'all, the towers have to fall in order for something to be built beautiful again. Yeah. Some of y'all are having an issue with balancing, focusing on work, okay? Because I feel like a lot of y'all going to have a new opportunity come forward between the 1st and 15th of September that's going to occupy your time as far as work. And you're not really communicating with everybody about it. So everybody in your external is like, well, what the hell? They bringing you conflict and instead of you dealing with it, you don't want the people in your business. So you just like, but you have an issue with choosing love or finances and that's becoming a problem for you. I feel like, and that's what's kind of creating issues around the home situation. Like, I feel like some of y'all are focusing more on money than you are your families. And it's beginning to bring a problem because somebody feels like thinks something's not fair. Some of y'all are dealing with the Libra. And that, 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 is, that relationship is very toxic. And it is going to be coming to an end during this time. Because I feel like someone is very narcissistic. They they are very defensive. They're the type of person that is very defensive. They'll point the finger at you, but they don't take any accountability. And it's definitely involved in a third party situation. I feel like y'all keep finding yourself back in this place and you're fucking over it at this point. I don't blame you. I'm over that shit too. I'll be over that shit. All right. I do see some of y'all could have left the um some of y'all could have left the Aries out in the cold. Some of y'all, um, and or Aries, you feel like an Aries left you out of out in the cold. But I feel like y'all are ending cycles with people, okay, or ending the way that the relationship is being dealt with, okay, with people. Some of y'all are having to move away from someone in your past before you can take a leap of faith and go forward with someone else. It's definitely involving a fire sign. Some of y'all are possibly leaving a Libra out in the cold, okay, and moving towards the Aries, or vice versa, leaving the Aries out and moving towards the Libra. Some of y'all could be leaving out an Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or towards this is just you feeling like you left out in the cold, and you feel like you kind of internally fighting yourself about contacting or dealing with this person, because I feel like you feel like this person is like walking turmoil or some type of turbulence or some type of toxicity, just walking fucking toxic, walking toxicity. You, That's what you feel about this person. However, I feel like you could have also felt like you broke this person's heart or this person broke your heart in the past or you fear that this person will break your heart because of things you've gone through in your past. So you're afraid to take that leap of faith to move forward. Yeah, this is definitely signifying the Aries. You feel like you want to take a leap of faith to move towards an Aries, definitely emphasis on the Aries or a Virgo, okay? However, you feel like this person is very burdening. You feel like you don't, you have enough burdens, okay? I have enough burdens and I don't want to, you know, pick up another one. I, I'm, I'm trying to start over, so I can't, uh, I can't really, I really can't give you what I would like to give you or what you expect to give me, what you expect to give what you expect me to give you, and it's really burdensome. You wanting to make, move, take a like take a leap of faith and really move forward, like move forward in a higher commitment with this person. I feel like with this Aries per, Aries person, but at the same time you're not doing it. I feel like you're getting over some type of heartbreak. Maybe then you feel like in the midst of you getting over this heartbreak, this person like abandoned you and left you out in the cold, and maybe you feel rejected by this person. Like maybe you feel like you would just be one of this person's options or something because. Yeah, some of y'all need to trust y'all intuition about what you feel about a Sagittarius or a Leo or or Aries as well. Because I feel like your intuition is dumb. Some of y'all are also dealing with a very intuitive fire sign. You could also be seeing this person in your dreams. And some of y'all intuitively know that you finna cut off a fire sign or you finna have to cut off someone. Um, also an Aquarius. I do see that. You possibly, or you have an Aquarius in your life. This person, intuition is booming. And they know the shit that's been going on in the dark. They're not saying too much about it. But real soon, between well, between the 1st and 15th of September, some of y'all going to get cut out by an Aquarius. Some of y'all going to get cut out by a fire sign because I feel like somebody lied about being in a relationship. 
or being separated from somebody and we were really they was really putting the work in okay they was really putting the work in into their relationship they was really building on another relationship so some of y'all are gonna get cut off possibly by earth sign i mean uh, air sign gemini libra aquarius and you just gonna focus on work you're just like fuck it okay i'm just gonna go chase my passion some of y'all definitely have a leo coming your way moving towards you okay or some of y'all could be moving away from a leo but i do see for some of y'all no i feel like you have a leo that you're moving towards or possibly another water sign pisces cancer scorpio i feel like no some of y'all shit some of y'all have to leave someone definitely it has to be done finish finito you have to choose yourself out of a toxic situation in order to move forward towards your ace of cups okay and the divine wants you to know to have strength in doing so because you got this toy some of y'all you just you know some of y'all not even looking for love when you're not looking for love you focus on your money then boom the universe got different plans for you huh truth is you're gonna have a fire sign coming back in okay that you could possibly have this ten of pentacles with or possibly an earth sign but some of y'all was a gemini but this indecision is creating some form of anxiety for y'all okay and it's affecting you financially for some of y'all it's affecting your health and spirit is needing you to go to sleep all right a lot of y'all not getting enough sleep go to sleep Taurus. self-care self-love is the best love choose you this time okay i love y'all this is what i have between the first and the 15th of september if you need that personal y'all better get in on that little ten dollar special because when it's gone it's gone okay um i think that's all i got for y'all right now love y'all booze mm -hmm.